Right. It's Gene retired in Mexico. And we ask one question on this channel, if you're new, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I am not so sure. And today, and I'm not sure why I'm not looking at you, but anyway, anyway, <laughs> yeah. You ever watch Drumeo? Drumeo's a, a, a YouTube channel where the guy never looks at the camera. He always talks like this at an angle. And uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But anyway. Uh, we're doing uh, drive-by truckers today. I got this really nice note from D. A. Thorndike. Really cool. And he he uh, was watching one of my videos. That's about let's see, tw about seventeen months old. Yeah. And he said you ought to do more. And I was like, yeah, well, you're right. But I think I'll. I've been toying with this other drive-by trucker song, George Jones talking cell phone blues. So I brought this up because. I want to I want to talk about it. And I had a guy write me yesterday. He says, you talk too much. And I go, it's analysis. If you, if you don't like it, find another channel. Because I like that. I like talking about the music. And I hope you guys will, will join me. You know, these channels where people just go, ah, wow, wow, wow. I just, I don't know. That's boring to me. You know, let's have a conversation. But George Jones, I'm going to guess since my audience is mostly under 35, that probably half of you don't know who George Jones was. Well, he was a country western singer, and he was one of the big ones. He was up there with Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash and Ray Price, and you know, probably one of the big eight or ten male singers. Uh, so let's go through this real quick. I think you're going to enjoy the song more if we go through the lyrics first. And obviously, I, I know the song. This is what I do on Mondays because I, I haven't. Lived under a rock, so I know some some things. And I love Dry by Truckers. Now this song's an outtake. It was never even released on an album. So uh, anyway, and uh, so you were talking on that cell phone driving your Mercedes way too fast. All of a sudden, there was this dial tone. You hit the pylons on the overpass. True story. So George Jones was talking to his daughter, and he crashed on this bridge and was seriously injured. Uh, and your whole life passed before you from the old days in the honky tonks to that last shot of vodka and all the miles in between. So he was a heavy drinker. Now this song gets funnier. George Jones better leave that cell phone alone. Be, don't be talking as you try to get back home. If you don't change your ways, my friend, you'll be singing duets with Tammy again. So Tammy Wynette, that was his wife and duet partner, and she passed away before he had this accident. So... That's a very funny line. They're going to be up there singing duets, right? Foot down, heavy on the pedal, talking to your daughter in the car. Next sound you heard was twisted metal. Another dead genius country star. <laughs> yeah, a la Hank Williams. So better get your shit together. Everything's been torn in two. Good thing your leather's made, your liver's made of leather. See, I can't even say that. That's a good twist of phrase because we'd all be born in the likes of you. Um, yeah, he, he had quite a tolerance and then, uh, they repeat the chorus again and I heard it on the news. He almost stopped loving her today. So that's one of his famous songs. And that's just such a, a clever pun. Better stay on that riding lawnmower. If you're going to keep carrying on that weight, true story, uh, his wife locked you know, hid or locked the car keys so he couldn't drive to the liquor store. And, but he found the keys to a lawnmower and he drove the lawnmower on the way to the uh, liquor store. I don't think he made it. I think his, um, for a long time, I thought he got a DUI on a lawnmower, but I think his wife uh, went after him and, and, and got him before he got to the liquor store. The funny st part about that story is he was married twice and both wives claimed that story. So one of them's lying. <laughs> and then they repeat uh, with a little bit different um, thing here. Better leave that cell phone alone if you don't change your ways, my friend, George Jones. So that's it. So let's go ahead and play this song. I 
I just thought we'd do the lyric dive first. It, it's a very funny song. Here we go. Okay, I'm back. Love that. It's um, country and, I mean, they're a southern rock band, high IQ kind of southern rock band from uh, Atlanta, Georgia, they're based in. But Patterson Hood, who wrote the lyrics to this, his dad was uh, the bass player for Muscle Shoals in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. So they're from Alabama, but now they're based in uh, Atlanta. And they're just so brilliant. I had the great uh, pleasure to see them one time and just one of my favorite bands, 21st Century. But if you're going to write a song about a country star, you make it a little more country, right? Put in some pedal steel guitar. So, yeah, they 
cut this from an album because it didn't really fit with the flow but i i just love this song i think it's brilliant i think it's funny and uh i'll show you a picture of joan george jones here on the way out so that's it we'll keep the video short uh hope you enjoyed it and uh da thorndike thanks for the lovely note and as we say here in bonita mexico uh well first of all we say hit that like or subscribe button and then we say bonita dia or buen dia <laughs> it, it's late at night i'm so sorry um bonita it is a bonita dia today it was beautiful I almost did the video outside. Anyway, bye.